right? Solid efforts. Again, this is just kind of a tune-up because we haven't raced in two weeks. Um, you know, Monday was a good hard workout for you. And uh, You work at Crumble? I work at so Mod Pizza. It's like then? right next door yeah. to Crumble. He's working oh, six so we okay. like go over there and wait. Oh just go over after shift. <laughs> yeah. It's well, not that's the second job. And we'll trade a lot. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. We'll do like, job? we'll give him a couple pizzas. Uh, yeah. No, but he's like... The workout today. 10 out of 10. Is it good? Amazing. You guys have a nice track, actually. I'm Tyler Matthews. Matt Hamilton. Roman Smith. Uh, Will Bergman. All right, how'd the workout go today, guys? It was good. It was really good. A little yeah. time trial? Yeah. I Pretty think fast. most of us PR'd from our last 600. I don't most know. Most some of them were close, some of them <laughs> were close. Today they're going to be answering you guys' questions on Instagram, so let's get into it. For races, or do you even get nervous for races? Um, and of course I do, especially for the big ones like Arcadia and State. Um, just like with that many people watching and that many eyes on me, it, it's hard not to get nervous. Um, so, But I think that definitely helps me, um, regardless of how nervous I am. It, if you're not nervous, you're not ready. Yeah, like, yeah, it's more adrenaline. It's everything I need. Do, do you guys get nervous for racing or are you just standing there? Oh, yeah, absolutely. no, for sure. Yeah, no, the adrenaline at the start was of the like race the open, like, this scare, like, what was, like, the most, like, nerve wracking race you'd say? Probably the, was it open or? Probably. Four by yeah. anything specific? Four by for me, it was probably the four by, no, well, yeah, probably the 800 or the four by four. Uh, the open, not Arcadia. Uh, oh, yeah, no, not Arcadia. The open. I feel like Steve. Arcadia. Arcadia was like, the most over the whole season. Because there's like so many people in the yeah. stands, and then wild. that was most of them. Yeah. What national races are you doing? Uh, so Tyler's just going to do the Brooks PR. Uh, what was it? Two or three days before we go up to Oregon to do Nike Nationals. So we're doing the 4x8 there, and then Tyler's doing the Open 8, and hopefully we'll see if I get into it. That's what we're doing. You think you get it? You probably will. Yeah. Yeah. 152, 152 152 win, bro. <laughs> you never know these days, bro, but... Um, favorite workout um, for me probably like 400 repeats. I I like 400s. Tyler hates anything above 1200 meters. <laughs> do, when you guys do 400s, do you do like six or do you? Do um, I know you yeah, last time yeah. we did eight to ten. Yeah. Repeats. You guys so that, like, was, that was a longer one. What's we like your average? Average is like five. five. Yeah. Five Oh, I meant like average like time, you'd say. Uh, yeah. It depends what we're trying to do, but most of the time, for me, probably like 70s, maybe a little bit under for Tyler, obviously a lot for me, it's like, yeah, yeah. for me, it's like 63, 64. Yeah. For like yeah. The, the repeats. Do you guys ever do like four, 400s at like? Uh, sometimes we like do them like uh, 56, 57, and then we have like 10 minute break in between them. Yeah. So yeah. Those are like the faster ones where yeah. we have a huge break. How strict is your diet during <laughs> during track season? Um, yeah, Will. Yeah, Will. Personally, uh, I mean, I, my diet isn't so strict. That I can't say the same for uh, them. They definitely have a stricter diet than me. Tyler, you have a pretty strict diet, you'd say? Or? Not as much as you'd think, but... <laughs> you'd like I, to say you do? Yeah, I, I generally don't eat very much, like... Go ahead Crappy and food, give him a rundown of the week you've had. This week is... <laughs> I don't know if this is the best example, it's like grad week. This or. week's been pretty bad, yeah, but... For the most part, I, especially like c coming up to races, I eat as healthy as I possibly can. Do you have like a pre-race like meal you guys like? Pasta. Pasta, Pasta. just just basic. The day, the day like before, the night yeah. before, yeah, yeah. And yeah that's what, that's what I don't know about them, but I have like a routine <laughs> set of meals that I eat on race day. Break them, break them down real quick. The people definitely want to know. So. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, for breakfast, it sounds a little weird, but I have a beetroot smoothie. Um, we have we got this little like thing of you know how many kids are gonna try. Yeah. <laughs> you just say something like you should say like some like weird shit and tell these kids that like, is you pretty do weird. Dude, that my mom weird. literally bought like beetroot powder yeah, the other day because his mom was talking to mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we... I have that, and then I'll have like a banana peanut butter sandwich for lunch. That sounds good. Um, and then just like little snacks. Um, like if it's a night meet, then I'll just have little snacks up until then. Maybe some bat soup. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel doing Gotham a favor and keeping us safe every night? <laughs> oh <laughs> uh, feels wonderful. Uh, breakthrough race for you. We should go down the line. What about you? Okay. Uh, oh shoot. For me? Yeah. I guess my top of the mountain race was probably the best one. But yeah. I got a three second PR, but I still haven't been able to get. Yeah, in the 800. 156. Okay. 
So I'm still trying to get back into that for nationals, I think. Try to beat that. Uh, definitely last chance for me. I ran 157, first time breaking two. That's a, that's a statement, bro. Go, three seconds under two. Uh, I don't know, I like divisionals. Just, I ran 154, got second. So kind of a big momentum. What was your PR before that? Uh, 56. So you won like 56 to 52 in like two weeks? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's wild. Uh, it wasn't my PR, but I think Arcadia was the biggest breakthrough because I went sub 150 for the first time. Um, and yeah, I mean, I PR'd since then, which was also awesome, but I think the biggest breakthrough is Arcadia. What's your collective GPA? Oh, oh I'm bringing that. Let's go, down, let's go down the line on that one. 2.7. What are we talking, like unweighted, college core? Matt, you got a quick right here. Oh, weighted? weighted? Oh, bug. <laughs> Will? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think mine's like four, 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 point, like 445 or something. Yeah. You would never know it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's what I was thinking. He's making numbers over there. Four, four, five. Uh, I'm like three eight, three seven, I think. I think I'm four point. Bring it down. Four point uh, oh, six eight. Four point six eight. Uh, yeah. what's, what's your class rank? Third. Who's okay. ahead of you? I, I actually don't. They don't. They don't run one forty eight. So it doesn't matter. Really yeah, exactly. What's, what's lower, your GPA? I doubt any of them are athletes. <laughs> yeah. I haven't passed an AP test yet, though. <laughs> I've taken two and I haven't. Well, I passed them, but I didn't get. What's I, like pass? Like over three? I think you have to get three or better, but most colleges won't take three. So four or five is technically like passing. Yeah. Three and a half. And I have yet to do that. You got a <laughs> one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you you signed your name on the paper. They gave you the one. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Oh. You read psychology. Blame Mr. Marquez for that one. I know. <laughs> Every day. Coach Marquez. He's our throws coach, by the way. Uh, okay, so this one says. Why don't you run the 1600 more? Mm, that's a good question. Um, and I guess for the beginning of the season, I didn't because I was like in a 4 8 mindset, um, thinking that I would be doing that for the rest of the season. Um, it wasn't until. Um, which one was it? Last chance, I think. Yeah, last chance when I ran like 4 18. Um, and I realized that I had a chance at doing well at state, so I just kept doing it and kept. Were you not going to run the 16 at state until like when did you know you were going to run the 16 at state? Last uh, at the open, last chance. last chance. Dang, I know kids were praying you didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, for for the open state meet, um, I mean, I knew like the day before and the four by eight, I split a 148, so I was kind of going into it thinking that I could. I just had to be able to do it after running the mile and then. Also preparing to run the four by four. Um, well, what was your mindset with running a four twelve mile and then coming back and like just 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 pushing every excuse out? Because you could have easily just been like, you could. I don't even know what was second that one fifty, but like if you went one fifty, the person behind you wouldn't have been one fifty because like obviously you pulled everyone. That's like another thing is like you pulled everyone. You even pulled your own teammate because you, you like you set the bar for Arizona. Yeah. How does that? I, that's like a, like even a hard concept to like comprehend that like if like if you went 150 this year that south point kid wouldn't have gone 150 and like the whole standard would have been back but how does it feel to like set a standard for arizona and make it like it's not a like you know run faster times pretty much i think it's awesome getting to put arizona on the national recognition i guess is cool because we've never really had that especially in the 800 um like last year was kind of the first year where people started running pretty fast um and being able to pull everybody else in the state up with me is awesome because it gives me more competition. It lets Arizona, you know, get more recognition or across the country, and I think it's just really cool. Um, what does your training look like over the winter slash summer? Key off-season workouts. I mean, just building mileage really in the uh, summer and winter. You know, when we have that break after cross country, going into track, and we have what is it like? Probably like a month of just miles. And we start doing some workouts, slowly building up, and we start to work on our speed when the season starts. I think the the important ones are like the aerobic ones, even though I hate them, like the the five the five by one k's oh, workouts. Man. Those are so painful, cool, but I think, do you think there's anything specific that makes you guys you? I was talking to the coach earlier, and he basically said if we do what everyone else does, or like. You think, but do you think you guys think like there's something specific in your training that makes you 
stand out or be nationally ranked in the 4x8 or in the um, 800? I don't think it's, like, anything in our training. I think it's, it's like, our community. Especially, like, like we you were saying earlier, we have Tyler. And he's, like, always kind of dragging us along. Especially him being our teammate. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we all have a really good bond. And so it's always good to be working out with each other. And obviously, like, I have Will, and we're, like, in practice, we're always next to each other, so we're always pushing. Yeah. And then they, sometimes Matt will decide to run with Tyler. <laughs> He's feeling a little bold. Um, but, yeah. I mean, we have to shout out our team, too. Yeah, like, for sure. Just having that, that team dynamic, uh, everybody gets along. Uh, like, all the freshmen, all those guys come to support us throughout our, our long season. So, like, they came to divisionals. They, they're they cheering in the stands. I know a few of them came to the open meet. Yeah, so. yeah a few of them right now, bro. Yeah. Over here. Shout, shout out, Ryan. Ryan. That's going to be the You're next. You're giving you a shout out here, buddy. He, I'm, I'm retiring. <laughs> the camera volume. I'm retiring. He's going to be the, the new. He's next up. Next up. You're yeah. going to see him next yeah. year. Yeah, and also we have guys who come back who graduated in the past. Yeah. They came to the Open State meet to watch too, which was awesome. Just feeling the support there. Yeah, yeah for sure. That favorite movie? What's your favorite movie? Ty. Me? I don't know. I just recently watched uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Oh, I heard that's oh, terrible, no dude. You thought it was bad? I, I I was gonna see it, and then my friend was like, no, they like hurt the little raccoon dude. Oh, was yeah. Oh, what the that part was kind of sad, but like. I think oh, the movie. That's in your favorite was, movie. That's no, your favorite. no, no. But it was good, and I I don't watch movies a ton, but. Bubble. Oh, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that was the most recent one I can think of, and it was good. I liked it. Nah. You don't have a favorite movie. No, I, I have a favorite movie. It's just not one from 2023. What is it? Doesn't have to be from 2023. Yeah. No, I know, but that's yours. Know. So. Yeah. You're gonna get roasted in the comments. <laughs> I know. I like weird it, weird science. Yeah. Weird science. Yeah. What's right. that? Weird I've never science. even heard of that. Yeah. It's an 80s movie. I think she's oh, different. Yeah, they should have said, like, Batman the Dark Knight. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what that I would have been so <laughs> Just stared into the camera. Uh, or Revenge of the Nerds. That's, that's a great one. Yeah, it might have been. I'll say Maze Runner. That oh, that's so movie. underrated. That was, that was a good one. you give props there. there. That's my favorite book. Let's, um... <laughs> Read <laughs> I don't know. That's <laughs> <laughs> the dumbest thing ever. What was your favorite book? Well, I mean... <laughs> That's my favorite. I don't. I don't read that much, but yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say Lord of the Rings. That's another that banger. Yeah. Uh, how long has he been running? Um, I ran. I started running in seventh grade. Mm -hmm. So five years. There's a lot of questions out there. I always get asked. How old are you? <laughs> Me? No, the, the guy behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> He's, uh, I'm 17 14. right now, and I'm turning 18 in November this year. So. Oh, okay. He's, he's legal. He's a guys. year older. He's not a year. He's six months older than me. How old are you? 18. You, yeah. Uh, Matt's older than me. So when are you going to turn 19? April of April. this year. Yeah. Yeah. He's an old lad. 19. How's that? April. I know the AIA is like, I don't think they care. I don't know how that works. <laughs> uh, it's four years. You can turn 19 after September. And then For once good. you enter high school, you have four years. On clearly, time. clearly you're good. Because I've got kids like, Yo, is Tyler 23? <laughs> Who's your favorite runner? Mm. Me? Uh, I'd probably say... <laughs> I, th I thought you said me. Oh, oh no, 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 no. My favorite runner is David Rudisha. That's a... Oh, okay. That's, surprise. But that's not... Yeah, it's not a surprise. Bro, that's a great one. You that's cannot a great steal one. mine. Favorite, you high, cannot steal favorite high school mine. runner. I'm you cannot friend. steal Mr. Bird Bomb. I was all... <laughs> Bird 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 Bomb. <laughs> I am the biggest Burn Bomb supporter. <laughs> Do you run his page? <laughs> yeah. That, like, no, I don't, but... Yeah, I wish. He would. I want a shout out for Mr. Burnbaum. Oh, uh, if you went back to the Roman Empire with an iPhone, could you take over the world? It's a great question. The... I think, like, if you just played Chief Keef, they would all listen to you. <laughs> 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 like, what would, what would a caveman think if you just, like, walked into a cave? Bro, he'd just kill you, man. <laughs> I, think. I think. I think that's possible. Do you get, like, do you still get internet? We'll say yes, only for you. Yeah. Do you think you could take it over the world? Ooh. You could say like you're God, and then, yeah, you could say you're God and play like Chief Key for Little Baby or something. I want to ride a Tyrannosaurus <laughs> ride. <laughs> Mindset overall as a runner, how did you build your confidence as a runner? Um, am I answering this one? Yeah, yes. you have the phone. Um, <laughs> shoot, I mean, sometimes I still don't have that confidence, but... Yuzu, baby. 
<laughs> yeah, um, I think it's just experience. Like, um, over four years of running, you know, the first race was, I had no idea what I was doing. Went out too fast, died last mile, you know. Still, you still do still that. Does still does Still kind of yeah, do you're that. supposed to build them up, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but overall, when you get experience, I guess you just, you know what. Confidence and work hard. Yeah. Oh yeah, and from workouts definitely like if you do like a good workout the week before, you know, you know you're ready or you know what time you can probably get. So 